conversation. But in June, he jumped in the race, throwing the political machine on, it, on its ear, if you will. Then it was a quick and controversial rise to the top of the Republican field and a campaign that left a lot of us with some truly unforgettable moments. I am officially running for President of the United States, and we are going to make our country great again. When Mexico sends its people, they're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists. I will build a great, great wall, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. I'm not going to pay for that wall. How are you going to make them pay for the wall? I will. And the wall just got 10 feet taller, believe me. You've called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account... Only Rosie several... O'Donnell. You could see there was blood coming out of her eyes. Uh, blood coming out of her wherever. Donald Trump said the following about you. Quote, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? Can you imagine that, the face of our next president? I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. I think she's a beautiful woman. My first wife thinks I'm great, and my second wife, and, my, and I have a great marriage. She believes in inspiring women, empowering women. If Hillary Clinton were a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the vote. The only thing she's got going is the woman's card. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh, I don't remember. I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody, and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? And you know how you make America great again? Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. You have this guy, Lindsey Graham, a total lightweight, and he gave me his number, and I found the card. Let's try it. 202. I think he believes that he can insult his way to the presidency. The World Trade Center came down during the rain. He kept us safe. That's not safe. Donald J. Trump is calling for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. I'm the worst thing that's ever happened to ISIS. I would bomb the s*** out of them. With the terrorists, you have to take out their families. Would I approve waterboarding? You bet your ass I'd approve it. If and when. The Vatican is attacked by ISIS. The Pope would have only wished and prayed that Donald Trump would have been present. For a religious leader to question a person's faith is disgraceful. 2 Corinthians, right? 2 Corinthians 3.17. That's the whole ballgame. He walks in with the Bible held high, right? It's Lion Ted. He puts the Bible down, and then he lies. She said he's That's terrible. Terrible. I didn't start it. But that's, I didn't uh, start it. But sir, sir, with all due respect, that's the argument of a five-year-old. This guy, I call him Little Marco. It's Rubio. Have you seen his hands? And you know what they say about men with small hands? He referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee it. You know, Hillary... Hillary, uh, crooked Hillary, right? Well, Hillary's running for a lot of reasons. One of them is because she wants to stay out of jail. Donald Trump, finally a candidate whose hair gets more attention than mine. I don't wear a toupee. It's my hair. Will you unequivocally condemn David Duke and say that you don't want his vote or that of other white supremacists in this election? I don't know anything about David Duke, okay? I don't know anything about what you're even talking about with uh, white supremacy. So would you just say, unequivocally you condemn them and you don't want their support well I have to look at the group there is no rally like a Trump rally and nobody gets the people that I can tell you there's a fight going on down here this is a very sad scene that we're seeing here's a guy throwing punches nasty as hell screaming at everything else I'd like to punch him in the face I'll tell you I'm best on terrorism, best on the economy, best on trade. If I have all these things, why don't we just call off the election today? Let's put the country back in shape.